Hi, I'm Chef Robert Irvine for Bodybuilding.com and today we're going to show you how to make vegetarian burgers with a difference. You know, vegetarian burgers can be held together or binded by many different things. So today we're going to use unusual binders. Unusual binder for me is a rice, a brown rice or a white rice that we've cooked strained and left nice and wet. And the reason we leave it wet is because that is the moisture we're gonna to need to bind the product together. We're gonna to take some sauteed garlic and onions, some white beans, cannellini beans, some black beans, and some corn. Now here's the thing, you can add, you know, literally any vegetable you wish to this. The base here is the rice, and that's what's gonna give us that whole binding the cake together. Mix together. Take a little bit of chopped dill. And again, any other fresh herb that you like. And we're just gonna use our hands to try and mix together. Now, if the rice is not cooked enough, all we need to do is take a little bit of rice flour to bind the cake together. It won't become gummy and you can see it's adding, it's, uh, the rice flour is picking up all the moisture. But I did something really cool here. I added some beets to some hot water, blended them together after they were cooked and I'm going to add the beets for a different depth of flavor together. It will turn the cake a little bit red but um, the flavor, the earthiness of the, the beets gives a great, great taste to this burger. Now, I'm gonna make a couple of cakes. Hands get messy on this one, so it's good for the kids to help you with. But look how much it binds and how pretty it looks right now. And again, if you wanna put mushrooms, you wanna put uh, mangoes, you wanna put anything else in, you can. I'm gonna put that in to cook. Okay, I'm gonna start on a little Thousand Island dressing. So we got some chopped pickles, chopped red onion or diced red onion, some ketchup, and a little bit of low fat mayonnaise. Mix that together. Boom, a little salt, a little pepper. And you notice that I add salt and pepper to everything. I bring out the flavors by layering the flavors. So, I've got the one cake I just put in. I had two in earlier, they're almost ready. Uh, I've got some jalapenos here. If you want to, you could add it to the Thousand Island dressing to kick it up a little bit. Um, you don't have to. Maybe we should, just a tad. A little bit in there, just to give us some, some heat. So I'm gonna show you how to make this twice. One with a bun as a burger type, and one without if you have uh, gluten issues. So we take a little bit of Thousand Island on to our bun. I'm gonna take beautiful crisp lettuce, tomato, lettuce, turn that off, turn that over. Oh, look at that golden brown. Take this one out, on, to the burger itself. That's basically a beautiful vegetarian dish. Now, if I didn't want the bun, as I said, I would just take the dressing, take some more lettuce, break the back of it or the vein of it, find my little cup, take my tomato, in the middle, and my cake right on top of that. So there you have it, two different ways for a vegetarian burger. One with a bun, one without, for those that have gluten intolerances. Simple, easy, fresh food coming to you. I'm Chef Robert Irvine from bodybuilding.com. Stay with us for more fresh, healthy, and fun recipes.